Throughout your time at Colorado State University, you have been challenged, encouraged, and celebrated. Recently, every extraordinary accomplishment has felt a little different. Yet through innovation, hard work, and limitless imagination, you have shown what it means to be truly stalwart. As a community, we have experienced adversity and heartfelt moments. It is in our character to come together, lift each other up, and embody the statement we frequently hear, Rams take care of Rams. This is a time of wonder and a time to celebrate and be proud of all that you have accomplished. To the class of 2021, your experiences at CSU provided a foundation to achieve new heights, and it is your turn to look towards the future to shape your communities and the world. Welcome to the commencement ceremony of Colorado State University's 2021 graduates. I'm the Provost and Executive Vice President Mary Pedersen, and it is my pleasure and privilege to join your families and friends and our faculty and staff in celebrating you today. Congratulations to you. Please join us as we begin this ceremony with the national anthem performed by our very own CSU musicians and with the colors presented by Colorado State University's Air Force ROTC's Wing Walker Honor Guard. Thank you to the Wing Walker Honor Garden, our musical performers, and to all who have made this virtual ceremony possible. I am proud and honored to introduce CSU's land acknowledgement. It is important that we not lose sight of the need to remember the history of the land on which our institution stands, especially in this virtual, physically distanced world, shrouded by a pandemic. Whenever or however our community gathers, we have a responsibility to share the land acknowledgement. We do this to respect and reflect upon the sacrifices made by the indigenous communities who were the original stewards of CSU land. Tribal communities were displaced and ultimately harmed to gain the land that has enabled this institution to serve a mission of education and research for more than 150 years. We are grateful to the CSU's indigenous faculty, staff, and students, as well as the non-indigenous members of our community who contributed to our land acknowledgement. This beautiful video presentation was produced by CSU's Native American Advisory Council as a powerful affirmation of the acknowledgement and to remind us all of our relationship to each other and this land.
Colorado State University acknowledges with respect that the land we are on today is the traditional and ancestral homelands of the Arapaho, Cheyenne, and Ute nations and peoples. This was also a site of trade, gathering, and healing for numerous other Native nations. We recognize the indigenous peoples as original stewards of this land and all the relatives within it. As these words of acknowledgement are spoken and heard, the ties nations have to their traditional homelands are renewed and reaffirmed. CSU is a land-grant institution and we accept that our mission must encompass access to education and inclusion. And significantly, that our founding came at a dire cost to Native nations and peoples whose land this university was built upon. This acknowledgement is the education and inclusion we must practice in recognizing our institutional history, responsibility, and commitment. Dear graduates, we celebrate so much for you today. Your successes, your brilliance, your future, and we know great things await you. There is a profound legacy to which we are all connected as CSU Rams, more than 150 years across multiple generations and identities, one that you have influenced and shaped in your presence here. You should take enormous pride in that. Now that you move forward to make your mark and contribution to the world as you have here at CSU, take with you the principles of community, all that you have learned here, and the shared experiences with your peers, your professors, and this institution. We take pride in knowing that you chose to be a RAM and that you are forever part of CSU, its legacy and history. The late poet, award-winning author, educator, and civil rights activist, Dr. Maya Angelou once said, if you're going to live, leave a legacy. Make a mark on the world that can't be erased. Angelou was perhaps best known for her 1969 memoir, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, which made literary history as the first nonfiction bestseller by an African-American woman. In addition to her literature, she contributed so much to this world through her voice, other talents, intellect, compassion, and strength. She is one of humankind's extraordinary legacies. Through your life experiences, learning, and achievements, you have started to build your own personal legacy, as did your peers who came before you and those who will follow you. There is much ahead for you, and your journey has just begun. As you venture into your future, embrace the challenges ahead of you. Create and capture opportunities to make the world better. Build your legacy, make your mark, one that cannot be erased. I want to close with more wisdom by Maya Angelou. This is from a commencement speech that she gave in 1982. Her message stands true for you today as it did for that graduating class nearly 40 years ago. She said, of all your attributes, your youth, your beauty, your wit, your kindness, your money, courage is indeed your greatest achievement. It is the greatest of all of your virtues, for without courage you cannot practice any other virtues with consistency. No doubt it has taken incredible courage for you to get where you are today, especially this past year. I know you have worked hard to succeed in your studies, your research, your service, and employment for your family and community, yourself, and your future. In your time at CSU, especially in the unprecedented challenges you have faced with the pandemic, you've begun to define your character, your courage, and who you are and who you want to be. Now it is your time to make your mark on the world and I know you will do great things. Congratulations to you and your family, your friends, and all who have supported you. Madam President, the 2021 Spring and Summer Graduating Class 
of Colorado State University is virtually assembled. Thank you, Provost Pedersen. Congratulations to our 2021 graduates and a special welcome to all the family and friends joining us to celebrate the hard work and achievements of those whose academic journeys will culminate today with the recognition of each graduate and conferral of their degrees. It is important to have the people you love the people who have supported you in ways too numerous to count be able to share this important day. I am so glad all of you could join us. I know this is not how any of us pictured the culmination of your academic careers at Colorado State University. But we know the importance of celebrations and this one marks a significant and meaningful milestone, the end of one journey and the beginning of another. Graduates, over the past year, you have exhibited incredible strength and resilience. These are qualities you share with past generations who also experience difficult times, times of war, times of economic upheaval, and yes, even times of pandemic. I believe that resilience is rooted both in our land-grant mission and in the special qualities of the students who choose Colorado State. This university was born in a nation undergoing tremendous change and was designed to meet some of its most critical needs. It is a place founded on a revolutionary commitment to offering broad access and generating new knowledge knowledge our graduates have used for generations to meet the world's biggest and most complex challenges. All of you inherit that legacy of resilience and will carry it forward. You have shown an amazing ability to adapt and persevere, not just to survive in difficult times, but to thrive. And keep in mind, as you transition from college to career, that your learning isn't coming to an end. In many ways, it's just beginning. You leave here with the knowledge and the skills to excel in the careers you've chosen, but it's possible that your real dream job is still somewhere out there in your future. It's possible it doesn't even exist yet. You're entering a world where change remains a constant, where the needs of the workforce and the size and scope of the challenges will continue to accelerate and evolve. But whatever those challenges may be, whenever and wherever you encounter them, you will be prepared. You have the skills and abilities, and you have the creativity and critical thinking to transform yourselves when challenges and opportunities arise. You will gain wisdom with every experience you will be ready. Our CSU community has a powerful, shining, bold spirit, one of, born of hope and optimism, one that cannot be dimmed by challenges. For more than 150 years, it has endured, growing brighter and stronger, particularly in the face of adversity. Your achievements are now part of that long, proud history Colorado State University's class of 2021 set a standard of resilience and perseverance that will endure for future generations. Wherever you go from here, you will remain members of a CSU community of brilliant minds, great hearts, and an indomitable resilience. Our Ram family reaches around the world, honoring our storied past and embracing our shared future ready to confront is increasingly complex challenges. I am delighted to celebrate all of you. On behalf of the entire CSU community, congratulations. And now I am thrilled to be able to welcome our spring 2021 commencement speaker from Philadelphia, Kareem Rosser. 
Kareem earned his degree in economics from CSU in 2016. And many of you will recall him leading our CSU polo team to a national championship in 2015 when he also was named the U.S. Polo Association's Intercollegiate Player of the Year. Economics and polo have remained among his passions since graduation. Kareem is pursuing a career as a financial analyst in Philadelphia and continues to compete in polo tournaments around the world. And in the best tradition of CSU alums, he is also working to improve the lives of others, to give back to the communities that support us, and to make the world a better place. He serves as treasurer on the board of Work to Ride, the program that taught him to ride and take care of horses. Since 2015, Kareem has raised more than $800,000 to support at-risk youth and the program that gave him a future in polo. In February, Kareem released his first book, Crossing the Line, a fearless team of brothers and the sport that changed their lives forever. It tells his own inspirational story and the stories of the people who were his mentors when he was growing up in one of Philadelphia's toughest neighborhoods. He's been featured on 60 Minutes, ESPN, and The Today Show. And today, he's here to share his insights and experiences with us. We are so excited to welcome this remarkable individual and CSU graduate, Kareem Rosser. Hey, class of 2021, congratulations. You conquered one of the most difficult academic years in recent history, and you reached an incredible milestone during a pandemic. I am beyond proud of you. You really show Ram toughness. As you prepare for the next chapter, I imagine many of you are excited and some even nervous. I have no doubt this class is ready to take on whatever is waiting for you next. Commencement is a meaningful ceremony, but it's not the final goal you've been working towards. It's part of the larger journey of life. Wherever your future takes you, life is a journey. And all accomplishments we achieve during its course should be taken as starting points for further achievement. Your graduation serves as a launching point, whether you're headed to a new career, continuing your education, or exploring another avenue entirely. As you make your transition, you will inevitably face new challenges. This was true for me too when I was in your position. A few weeks after graduation, I began working as a financial analyst. The first six months were overwhelming as I struggled to maintain a healthy work-life balance. There were moments, just like my time during at CSU, when I wanted to quit. As a student, I failed multiple tests. As a student athlete, I lost many games, but I did not let the failing moments define me. Instead, I look back at my struggles as a college student and how I chose to persevere. I used my challenges as motivation to pursue a greater goal, to become the first member of my family to receive a college degree. Now you, like me, have the honor of calling ourselves CSU graduates. Now it's time to put the knowledge you've gained over the last four years to use. CSU has equipped you with the tools to create your own plan. Creating your plan does not mean success will come overnight. As we experienced this past year, life forces us to adjust. The pandemic delayed my first significant capital raise as the lead analyst. I did not let the challenges of the virus dictate my success. I pivoted and remained patient. There will be moments you feel discouraged, but you have already proven to be resilient. You have, reached, you have received an education from one of the greatest institutions in the world, and I know you're prepared. You're about to close one door while simultaneously open a new one. I'm encouraging you to walk through with confidence. As I said before, life is a journey, and you do not stop growing once you get your diploma. Today, you have a lot to celebrate 
Enjoy this moment and the best of luck to all of you. Go Rams. Thank you, President McConnell and Provost Pedersen. And a special thank you to our 2021 commencement speaker, Kareem Rosser. Hello, Grad Rams and graduating class of 2021. My name is Mary Stromberger and I'm the Dean of the Graduate School. On behalf of Colorado State University, graduate faculty and staff, I congratulate you on the completion of your graduate degree. Your dedication, resilience, hard work, and support from mentors and loved ones have set you up for success. I know this because time and time again, CSU graduate students complete their degrees, graduate faster, and secure employment at greater rates compared to the national average. Our graduate alumni are more than 40,000 strong and distributed across the country and the world, creating a global network of fellow grad rams available to guide you in your career development. I have absolute faith in your future and that you will be just as successful as those alum of the CSU Graduate School who came before you. And most importantly, I have absolute faith in your ability to lead us through future challenges and opportunities. Graduates, I celebrate you. And I celebrate those who supported, loved, and encouraged you to reach your impressive and hard-won academic achievement. Congratulations on earning your Colorado State University graduate degree. I'm so very proud of you and your great accomplishments. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for you and for the positive impact you will have on our culture and our society. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, it's time to commence with the formal conferral of your degrees. Madam President, these candidates have completed their programs of study, have pursued original scholarship, and have made significant contributions to knowledge and culture. They are recommended by their major professors, the Graduate School, and the Faculty Council for the graduate degree. President McConnell, I present these candidates and ask that you confer on them the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, the Professional Doctorate degree, and the Master's degree. Congratulations, Class of 2021. Be well, be safe, stay strong, and as always, go Rams. With the recommendation of the faculty by the authority invested in me by the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System and the State of Colorado, I hereby confer upon each of you the appropriate degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Now we welcome you to join us in the Colorado State University alma mater led by our very own musicians coming to us from the University Center for the Arts. Congratulations, 2021 graduates. Well, here we are, graduates. It's your day. Your day 
after a long four years of hard work. We're excited to have you here, excited to celebrate you. I hope you'll savor this moment and remember it always. But now I wanna to speak to your parents and your loved ones and the supporters who've been with you because I know that they're very proud of you today. Just like you, mom and dad, and aunts and uncles, and grandma and grandpa and siblings, we're proud of your graduates just as you are. We understand the hard work that it took to get here. And I say that not because the work was effortful, but because the work was really hard, especially this last year. We're so proud of the discipline that our graduates have shown, of their work ethic, and the investment that they've made. Like you, we're very, very proud of them. Graduates, it wasn't that long ago that I was like you, graduating from Colorado State University. And I remember some of those feelings that I felt. There was a, there was a feeling of anticipation about what was to come and excitement around that. Uh, maybe, maybe I had a little bit of a feeling of nervousness as well uh, for what the future might hold for me. But for certain, for certain, I felt this overwhelming sense of gratitude. And I think it's worthwhile for us just to think a moment about that feeling, that feeling of gratitude and the grace that we feel uh, for the others who have helped to support us. So take a moment right now, maybe you've got your, your phone with you. See if you can send a text right now to that faculty member who challenged you, who gave you the inspiration and also gave you that, that critical appraisal that you needed in order to be successful. I'd like for you to, to take out that phone, or maybe, maybe you're sitting next to your mom and dad, and you can say thank you to them for the investment that they made and supported you uh, when, when maybe times were rough and you were feeling discouraged. But you were able to advance because of the pride that they showed you. I think it's worthwhile, too, to just send a, an email uh, to that advisor, that member of the professional staff who helped you to be successful. They showed you the way. It wasn't about class necessarily or maybe even about, uh, about what your internship would be. Maybe it was just about finding your life's path and your trajectory. So send them that note of gratitude and make sure they, they receive that too. You know, when I was talking to your family members and your relatives, your parents, I mentioned that the work was hard during this past year. And that's a gift for us as we think about what we'll do going forward. In this last year, you've shown that you have enthusiasm and you have endurance, that you have bearing and you have courage, that you're dependable and you're decisive. You've shown that you have good judgment and you've thought about and acted on justice. I commend your loyalty to Colorado State University and to yourself, to your values. We're so excited and proud of you as our graduates.
is now my deepest pleasure to congratulate you, our 2021 spring and summer graduates. You've worked hard, you've made sacrifices, you've persevered, and you've adapted to challenges thrown at you by a pandemic. And now, you've succeeded in completing your degrees. Congratulations, and very well done. My favorite movies are disaster films. Those where an unimaginable catastrophe occurs and a tenacious group of people figure out a way forward to survive. Along the way, there's generally a thought-provoking statement like, there's no script for this. And then the folks figure out that to survive and sometimes even thrive along the way, they must write that script themselves. So I speak for all of the faculty in our college when I say that we are so proud of all of you. You found the will, the creativity and brilliance to write your script, which might at times have felt more like surviving than thriving. But think of this, you just earned your degree. In doing so, and especially at this time in history, you demonstrated courage, tenacity, and strength to meet whatever challenges came your way. You found new connections to others, compassion, and meaning in both drawing on the support of friends, family, and the university community, and in providing care and help to those in need. You've done everything you needed to do to arrive at this place, a place that both ends one part of your journey, celebrated today as we think about graduation, and starts the next phase, which we capture in the word commencement. You did it with grace and inspiration. You did it in person and virtually. You did it daily, and you did it to great success, and we congratulate you on your achievements. As you embark on your next steps, remember the fundamental mission of our college. With a commitment to equity and inclusion, the College of Health and Human Sciences is focused on improving the health, education, and well-being of people, their environments, and the communities in which they live. You've prepared yourselves for careers in nutrition and physical health, education, social work, mental and behavioral health, human development, family studies, design, merchandising, and construction. In all of your courses, working with faculty and your fellow students, you've been pushed to think, to create, to innovate, and to consider the potential mark that you can make in your work and in your lives. And I know each of you will continue to make a positive impact on our world. I could not be prouder of any group of graduates from the College of Health and Human Sciences. On behalf of the faculty and staff in our college, congratulations. We look forward to the great things you will do to transform the lives of people in positive ways. As you go out into the world, please know that we will always be here for you. We are your Ramily. So please keep in touch and let us know about your successes and triumphs, and we'll be celebrating with pride the extraordinary magic that you bring to our world.
So, graduates of 2021, my name is Ben Withers and I am Dean of the College of Liberal Arts. I'm here to share my congratulations to you on achieving this milestone in your life. I came to CSU in 2016, around the time that many of you also arrived at CSU. I remember walking onto this beautifully cared for campus with large open spaces like the Oval and the Lagoon and large evergreens, apple blossoms and oaks. I remember walking down the spine of the campus past the Lori Student Center, the Morgan Library and the walkway between Clark, Eddy and BSB. Finding my office in Clark C was relatively easy, but navigating through C and into Clark B and A took a while. It was several weeks before I really understood how to find my way around Clark. But you know, soon enough, CSU and Clark became my home, and the students, faculty, and staff in the College of Liberal Arts became my colleagues and collaborators. I hope that you found the same, that CSU and whatever building you frequented most became a home for you, a place to discover new things about the world, about your fellow humans, and about yourself. That is what a good liberal arts education does. It inspires you to explore, to uncover, and to inquire about our human experience. Now, this current moment may not have been what you might have imagined, but this achievement is an important celebration and a step towards your future. No matter where you celebrate or mark this occasion, the fact remains that you have succeeded at a difficult and important endeavor that only 33% of the entire U.S. population have completed. A degree in the liberal arts is a solid foundation for a lifetime of learning and leadership with the essential skills of critical thinking, problem solving, flexibility, adaptability, and curiosity, liberal arts graduates go out into the world and change it in large and in small ways. You now join a group of more than 50,000 alumni from CSU who have graduated in the liberal arts, and they've gone on to do a variety of impactful things, from writing Pulitzer Prize-winning articles or poems to managing city offices, from teaching dance to youth in New York City to advocating for underserved communities. However you define success in life, your liberal arts education has taught you how to examine what it means to be human, the trickiest endeavor of all. And this exploration about our collective human experience is crucial to making informed decisions that will lead to better lives for us all. You and your education are critical components for continuing and improving our democratic institutions. So go forth and use your talents, knowledge, and skills to advance the human experience. We wish you the best as you venture into this next phase of your lives, and we hope that you continue to approach life with compassion and inquiry ultimately doing meaningful work and building a meaningful life. We are proud of you. Congratulations and stay in touch.
I'm Jan Nerger, and I serve as the Dean of the College of Natural Sciences. I want to take this moment to honor and congratulate you, our 2021 graduates. Our college is one of the largest at Colorado State University. We have nearly 5,000 undergraduate students and 700 graduate students who call natural sciences their home. We are comprised of the departments of biochemistry and molecular biology, biology, chemistry, computer science, mathematics, physics, psychology, and statistics. Commencement is a milestone moment. It's one that you've been working toward and looking forward to since stepping onto campus. A time to cherish and celebrate with family and friends who've been such an important part of your academic journey. While we cannot come together in person to celebrate your accomplishments, do not let this take away from the joy and pride you should be feeling. What you've accomplished is extraordinary. Fewer than 30% of Americans over age 25 hold a bachelor's degree, less than 10% a master's degree, and less than 2% a PhD. Your education sets you apart and it positions you for success. You've gained foundational skills, trained your mind to think critically, to problem solve, and to adapt. And now is the time you will need to rely on all those skills. As graduates, you are forever united as members of the CSU family. Take pride in how far you have come and have confidence and courage in how far you can go. Show the world, even now in such challenging times, that you, our 2021 graduates, are up for the challenge and ready to make a difference in the world. Reframe challenges into opportunities and face those opportunities head on. Be generous to the world with your talents, respect and appreciate differences in others you encounter, and use your CSU education for good and worthwhile purposes. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. I encourage all of you graduates to continue to dream big and to pursue those dreams. The future truly belongs to you. Once again, congratulations.
So hello and congratulations to our graduates, to the family and friends. This is a momentous occasion and we'd hoped to be together in person to celebrate, but alas, the pandemic prevented that. But we do want to take a moment and really recognize the outstanding accomplishments of these graduates. We are so very, very proud of you. The mission of our college is to improve the health of animals, people, and the planet through innovative and dedicated teaching, research, outreach, and clinical service. And through our actions, we empower the next generation of leaders to change the world. So let me repeat that last part. We empower the next generation of leaders to change the world. And graduates, I hope you feel empowered and excited about the future. We look forward to seeing all the great things that you're gonna to do to make this a better world. I have a departing thought that I'd like to share with you today. Your degree alone is not the sole key to your success. Consider, if you will, a golden ticket which will provide you access to your future success. And I look at your diploma as one half of that golden ticket. It's going to open doors, it's gonna provide credibility, it ensures a level of knowledge, but it does not ensure success. It is you, not the diploma, that completes the other half of this golden ticket. And it's you and how you present yourself, it's you and the relationships that you build, and it's you and the effort and passion that you bring every day. So use your diploma and use your degree to open those doors, but don't forget to complete the rest of the golden ticket, which is uniquely you. You complete that package and provide success for your future. We look forward to seeing where this will take you in the future. And on behalf of all of the College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences, congratulations and well wishes.
My name is David McLean, and I serve as the Dean of the Walter Scott Jr. College of Engineering. On behalf of the faculty and staff in the college, let me convey our sincere congratulations to each of the 2021 graduates from the Walter Scott Jr. College of Engineering. Your graduation represents an important milestone in your life. Much hard work and many long hours went into achieving this goal, and you rightly should be proud of this accomplishment. Higher education continues as a powerful tool to better your own life, those of others around you, and society as a whole. A degree is one of the few things that once earned can never be taken away. This is indeed an achievement to celebrate. I ask you to recall your first days on campus. For many, this was an exciting and at times overwhelming experience. But here you are at the end of that journey. I think all of you will agree that the journey would not have been possible without the support of family, friends, and members of our staff and faculty. Please reach out and thank those special individuals who have helped you achieve this remarkable success. As I reflect on the many amazing alumni from CSU I have had the privilege to meet, I am struck by two common characteristics, their passion to make our world a better place and the incredible impact they've been able to achieve in their careers. And now you, our newest CSU engineering and atmospheric science graduates, are joining that distinguished group. You are equipped for success and it is now your turn to do your part in finding solutions to our world's most pressing problems. We're all very proud of you and we look forward to seeing the great things that you all will accomplish. 2021 graduates, you have not just the ability but also the responsibility to make our world a better place. Lead by example and you will bring others along with you. My best wishes and again congratulations to you all. Go Rams!
Let me join with the leaders of CSU to extend my greetings and my congratulations to the graduates of Colorado State University and the Warner College of Natural Resources. The past year has been the most challenging year faced by our country for decades. We've all experienced impacts on our planet, our society, and our health in ways that were unimaginable a year and a half ago. It's been a time of social unrest strains on our democracy and political institutions, and a pandemic that imposed health, financial, and psychological impacts on millions of people. In the face of all the upheaval and impacts that we've experienced, and in the face of all the environmental and social change that you're likely to see in your lifetime, I suspect that at times things may feel a bit overwhelming. But despite the magnitude of challenges that you will be facing, I'm filled with optimism and have a tremendous sense of confidence in you. And here's why. The concept of resilience is an important one in natural resources. Systems that are resilient respond to disturbance and change to persist and to thrive. By making it to the finish line and completing your degree, to persevere and succeed in a highly disruptive educational environment, you've shown incredible resilience. You've shown that you can respond to disturbance and change, and I know that you will go on to thrive. And with your educational background, with the personal and social values that you crafted and refined during your time at CSU, I know that you are poised to go on to build productive lives using the resilience that you've shown and to use the skills that you've gained to build a sustainable future for yourselves, for your communities, and for our planet. And so the next chapter of your life begins. With the completion of your degree in a natural resources field at CSU, you are joining a community of generations of people who have come through CSU and have gone on to shape the world and its natural resource professions. Those graduates have gone on to make positive impacts across the planet, and I have no doubt that you will do the same. Thank you so much for being a part of the Warner College of Natural Resources and for all that you have done to make our college an amazing place. We are so proud of you, of everything that you are, and of all that you will become. 
I hope you have a great day, that you're staying healthy, and that you are able to celebrate this wonderful accomplishment with your family and friends, even if that celebration need be a remote and virtual one. Please come back and see us and keep in touch in the months and years to come.